Wonder if your mom put two and two together yet. Okay, so I might as well just talk about this now, since Chloe decided to bring a certain something up. So... So I'm just gonna say something right now. So... At the beginning of the year, I don't really remember, but I think I made a promise that I would come out to my uh, mom. And... Um, I remember, so I told everybody on Twitter that I would come out to my mom. My dad, not yet, because quite frankly, he said some things that were disconcerting. But, yeah. But, um, I told everybody on Twitter that I would come out to my mom on Saturday. Like, and this was while I was gone for almost two weeks. Um, like... Last Saturday, I came out, like, um, so, yeah, I came out, um, I was gonna say, okay, I'm, like, at the beginning of the year, I was gonna say that I was going to come out to somebody other than my sisters, so that's what I did. I came out to my sisters, and, uh, next, like, last week, earlier on, I was like, okay, I'm gonna come out to my mom, and, uh, on Saturday, I ended up, I was right here, and I heard her come home. And I was like, okay. And um, I was like, I heard her sit down and stand up and in her room while the doors closed. And I was on the, I was like sitting on the top of the stairs, wondering what I'm gonna say. And then I was like half going halfway down the stairs, sitting on the stairs on the verge of tears. And I was going back and forth, and I was wondering what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen, what am I doing? Like maybe I should put this off and like no I can't I have to like do this I really have to do this and so like I slowly but surely and so I texted my boyfriend and he's like And I was like, okay, I'm gonna my mom is home and He's like, okay, I'll be here if you need me And I was like taking a deep breath. I was in front of her, my mom's door and I was almost knocking I was like uh, uh. and I was like it wasn't even the panic attack I'm like shaking and then I'm like knock knock she didn't hear I'm like knock knock she didn't hear and then I go knock knock and it's like she's like come in and I and, well she, she said come in and I'm like mom and then she's opening the door and I'm like and she's like hey and I'm like, can I talk to you for a minute and then um, she's like, okay. And she was wearing this nice, this lace white dress that she bought recently. I think she bought it or somebody else gave it to her. I'm not sure. But she's like, can I sit, can you sit down? Like, she, uh, I'm like, can I talk to you for a minute? And, um. And she's like, okay. And. She sat down on the stool, and I was standing, and I was in front of the door. And I was like, so, I know you've been asking questions, like you were concerned about what I wear, and you've been asking a few things, and I've been trying to avoid the questions and the answers. And I'm, like, shaking. Like, I'm legitimately shaking. And for some reason, while I'm stumbling around these words, I'm thinking about Saul from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul for some reason. I'm like, why am I thinking about Saul from Better Call Saul? Um, and I'm like, okay. I didn't want to say this in front of Dad. So here it goes. And I'm like, Mom... I was like, okay, mom, I, ever since I was in the ninth grade or grade nine, I knew I was different from some, everybody else or m other people. And I just needed, need to let you know something. And my sisters kind of know, my sisters kind of know what's going on. So I want to tell you 
before I have a chance to tell Dad. Mom, I am Canadian. And then there was this silence. It, there was this silence, with the exception of the TV behind me. There was this silence. And, like, she was looking at me and I was looking at her. And I was explaining to her that I knew, I knew, like, I've known for a long time. And I was just talking to her and I was rambling on and on about certain things. And she completely... She completely said, I understand. I completely understand. And I'm glad that... And she's like, I, I'm i glad that you told me. I'm like, please don't tell Dad. Please don't tell Dad. Like, I, tr like, I don't trust him. But... Don't tell Dad, okay? Just, like, right now. Just for right now, do not tell Dad. And, uh, we had this whole discussion about, you know, things and, you know, stuff. And then I told her I was bisexual, and she's like, okay, yeah, that, I kind of knew. I, I, I kind of knew that you were bisexual. I knew that you were, I knew that you weren't straight, but I knew that you were bi, I knew that you were bisexual. And so I told her about my boyfriend who I've been seeing for two years and she was completely understandable. She actually even said that, she actually even stated that, um, she f kind of figured, she actually said the word bisexual. She said it, I'm like, okay, so that actually, that actually throws me off completely. So yeah, um... So yeah, uh, my mom knows I'm bisexual, and uh, we had a discussion about, you know, and it turned into like, you know, the dynamic between two people, um, yeah, it turned into the dynamic between two people living together. So, uh, it was nerve-wracking coming out as bi- as, as a Canadian. It was nerve-wracking to come out as a Canadian. Bisexual, that's fine. Like, coming out as bisexual was totally fine. It was it was kind of fine. Like, everybody cut is like... Because I'm pretty much transparent. But, um, yeah, I told her about my uh, boyfriend. And then I came back here. And um, I uh, crawled onto this bed. And I started crying. Because it was just such a weight off my soldier... Soldiers? weight off my shoulders to come out as Canadian. You know? I'm really glad that she's at least understanding. Um, it's gonna be really hard for my, for my dad to figure out that I'm Canadian. It's gonna be really hard. It's gonna be really difficult because, uh, he doesn't like those Canadians. I, I gotta tell you, he does not like those Canadians. Those damn, those crooked Canadians, he says. But, um, yeah, but honestly, seriously, like, honestly, seriously, um, sorry if I didn't read chat, I will read to it in a minute, but, um, it was like, it was nerve-wracking, but I did it, and I'm really glad for it. I'm really glad that she's going to treat me the same way. Although she did force me to eat a watermelon, so I'm guessing that's punishment. This reminds me of the time I came out as American to my family. It was hard, but I was able to do it. I'm glad, Jenny. I'm glad that you came out as American. This, that is that is when you raid Chainsaw again. Oh, come on. Chainsaw's not going to, like... Wow, come on. Like, let me see this. Let's see this. Let's see what exactly you clipped. What did you clip exactly? It was nerve-wracking to come out as bisexual. As a Canadian. It was nerve-wracking to come out as a Canadian. So I'm actually really glad to find out that coming out as bisexual was not punishment. 
Okay. Eh, whatever. <laughs> That's good. Um, but yeah, um, I was... Also, I'm gonna mention to her, like, another thing. Actually, you know what? Um, I also told her by the end of New Year's Eve, I'm gonna tell her another thing. I'm gonna tell her something else that is going to, um... Speaking of Chloe saying, I wonder if she put two and two together since the bra incident. Um... Here's the thing, um, I'm gonna co I'm gonna probably come out to her as like, you know, because I wanna like I'm gonna I told her, I completely told her, thank you for the lurk, El Wasp. I hope that you're feeling um like gonna feel better, and I hope your therapy session goes well. Um, but I told her by the end of the year I would tell her something else. Like, tell her something that is kind of obvious. And I have to look her straight in the eye. I, I legitimately have to look her straight in the eye. Because my sisters know as well. Okay? My sisters know this as well. And I have to tell her... I have to look her straight in the eye on New Year's Eve. Probably at night. And I have to tell her, Mom, I am black. 